Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'll bring one such question that came in your NEET examination. This question came on NEET 2020. So let us see this question first. Question says, a body weighs 72 Newton on the surface of Earth. So that means if I have taken a Earth, okay, a certain uh, object whose mass is m and acceleration due to gravity over here is g. So the weight with which it will be attracted towards the center of Earth is 72 Newton. Okay, so what is the gravitational force on it at the height equal to half the radius of the Earth? So that means at certain height, let this height is h which is nothing but r by 2. What would be the, uh, what would be the weight? Okay, and weight is nothing but mass times into acceleration due to gravity at this particular point at certain height. So this is the surface, this is the surface of Earth. Okay. This is surface of Earth. So at certain height, its mass is m and acceleration due to gravity, let it be g dash. So the weight is m into g dash. This g dash is given by a relationship g must be equal to, if, if acceleration due to gravity on the surface is g, so it must be equal to g by 1 plus h by r whole square. So this is the expression that we already know. So what would be the acceleration due to gravity at certain height? Okay, so this must be equal to g 1 plus, what is height? Height is nothing but r by okay because height is r by 2 so the final answer that we are getting it must be equal to 9 so this this must be this this is a 3 by 2 3 by 2 whole square so g by 3 by 2 whole square that we are getting so this must be equal to 4 by 9 times of g okay so the acceleration due to gravity at that particular point is 4 by 9 times of g. So the what would be the weight? So weight is nothing but m into g dash over there at certain height. So this is m into m times of 4 by 3, 4 by 9 g. So that means 4 by 9 times of mg. So this is nothing but 4 by 9 times of weight on the surface of earth which is 72 newton. So it comes out to be after solving this, you will be getting 30, okay, 30, 32 Newton. Okay, so that means first answer is the correct answer that we are getting. Okay, I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.